Hey guys, it's Mr. Wikowski, one of your school counselors down at Central Cabrera Student Services. Hi, and this is Miss Boker. I'm another counselor here at Central. All right, in this video today, we're going to talk about registration for next year's classes uh, for 2022-2023. So this is a kickoff video, informational video for you to watch in your homeroom. Today should be uh, Friday, January 28th. And you're probably in homeroom and you're watching this video uh, and Miss Felker and I are going to go through and talk about lots of information about registration like when is registration and where can you find more information and then what should you do next to be prepared and to make your class selections for next year. So the first thing we want to make sure is that you know uh, the student services staff. Um, I'm Ms. Felger and I serve students with last names A through D. Ms. Palmer Faber, she serves students last names E through K. Ms. Brown serves students last names L through Q. Uh, Mr. Wachowski, who you just met, he serves students with last names R through Z. Uh, we want to make sure that you know who uh, some other staff members are that are in our office because they also play a part in registration and in uh, keeping student services running. <laughs> Ms. Hill, who was our wonderful registrar, uh, Ms. Mann, and her new name is Ms. Williams. She um, changed her name just recently, and she is our school social worker. Ms. Booker is our grad coach, and she will be beginning with us a second semester. OK, so when is registration? Well, as I mentioned before, today is probably Friday, January 28th, and you're probably in homeroom. Uh, and again, this is the kickoff for registration for next year's uh, classes. Um, students will work um, and make decisions about their class requests and will make those class requests online between January 28th and February 4th in Naviance Course Planner. Now that's something new and we're going to talk more about that, but uh, registration will will begin today the 28th and uh, course requests have to be made by February 4th. So where can you find more registration information? We're also going to post this video um, on our registration information page, but all of the information that you need to complete registration for courses for next school year can be found on the Central Cabarrus registration website. And here is an active bit.ly that is in this um, video. Uh, registration folder, which you all have received hopefully today in, uh, in your homeroom. Uh, the CTE pathway chart, there is a digital copy at this bit.ly. Um, the AP form, which every student needs to complete for uh, to take an AP class that has signatures, both student and uh, parent. Uh, there's a timeline uh, in our registration information so that you have an idea of when registration um, will begin and when it will end and when you have meetings with your counselors. Uh, there's a link to Naviance. Uh, in that uh, registration information page and there's also helpful videos for you uh, to watch um, so that you have a better idea of what's going on. OK, so what should you do now? So step one in the process uh, should really begin today in homeroom and take a look at that yellow folder that you have and look over all of the courses that we have at Central Cabarrus because if we are offering it next year at Central, it is on this yellow folder. So look at this. Uh, you'll notice that there's a little column that you could actually use a pencil or a pen and make a check mark uh, to help you um, consider and plan for when you make your um, your requests online. So look all over all of those options on the registration folder. Also check your school email. Um, your counselors will be emailing you more information to prompt you and provide you the resources or prompt you to move along and um, do the things you need to do in the process. 
OK, so step two, we talked a little bit about uh, the, the videos in um, a prior slide and that they are available um, in our registration website. So here is another uh, bit.ly link so that you can uh, find them. We, we have grade level advising videos and a, and a few others um, to give you additional information. It's particularly important that you take a look at your grade level video, whatever grade level you will be entering into and in the 2022-2023 school year. So for example, if you're a junior and you're going to be a senior next year, make sure that you watch the grade level video for the rising 12th graders. Um, likewise, 9th and 10th graders, make sure that you watch those videos so that you have a better idea of, uh, so that you can course plan. Um, what comes after American History 1, American, you know, what comes after uh, Math 3, so you want to make sure that you are paying attention to those grade level advising videos. We have a lot of great information in there and that will help you when you are making those course choices in Naviance. OK, step three, once you've uh, done those other two steps is to go ahead and work on your course planner in Naviance or Clever. Um, and make your course requests online by February 4th at 2 p.m. We'll shut it off at that point, but be sure to do that. OK, students must log into their Naviance or Clever account and make their class requests. Um, so be sure to do that. I put a link here uh, if you're not quite sure how to get into Clever. There's a link on this slide. Um, we will also email every student and prompt them with that link to go to Clever to make their course requests in their course planner. We'll also send you a video, which is also on our web page. We'll send you a video of how to make your course requests in your planner, OK? And then last thing about this slide is that um, one other resource for you is that counselors will be in the media center to assist students um, from February 2nd, and that's a Wednesday, to Friday during lunches, third period, counselors be in there. So if you have questions, if you can't get into Naviance uh, or Clever, come and see us at that time. OK, so step four, our one on one counselor meetings. Every student will be meeting with a counselor to discuss their registration choices. This will be after you have placed your choices in Naviance. So we want you to uh, pay careful attention and choose those classes very carefully. However, if you discover after you have made those choices um, that you want to change your mind or um, you know you want more information about a class, this is a great time to have that uh, conversation with your counselor. And again, we'll be meeting with students one on one. Um, we'll be meeting in the media center. Uh, we will schedule appointments from February the 8th to March the 11th. Uh, we're going to be having uh, meetings uh, periods 1, 1st, 2nd, and 4th. And we're going to meet, be meeting with rising 12th graders first. Their meetings will be scheduled between February the 8th and February the 18th. That appointment uh, time will be emailed to students. That's why it's so very important to be watching your email. Um, we're also going to be letting teachers know and we will be putting in e-hall passes for students. Um, and then after we finish meeting with all of the rising uh, seniors, then we will be meeting with our rising 11th and uh, 10th and 11th graders. Um, that Those dates are going to be February the 22nd through March the 11th. So any time during that period of time um, is when you will be coming out of your classroom to meet uh, with a counselor. Uh, we will be scheduling those particular meetings by hallway room and teacher. So um, we might be calling many students from your class to come down to uh, the, the media center and meet with counselors. But again, all of those meetings will be one on one, and this is a great opportunity to discuss any questions that you have about uh, courses um, or even course sequencing. Uh, we will be reviewing each class with you. 
to make sure that that sequencing is correct. Um, we will be advising you if um, we see some um, mistakes or, um, you know, if, if again, if you have questions and at that time, you will definitely be able to make changes to the request that you put in. Very good. OK, so last slide. What do I do now? Well, obviously, Ms. Felker and I said it over and over again. It's very important that you watch your student uh, email, your uh, Cabarrus County Schools email. Watch that and then refer to our registration web page and uh, all the resources that are available and make your course requests in uh, Clever or Naviance. And then if you have an AP class, complete your AP form. Speak to your teachers about the recommendations that they have uh, for the classes that you should take the next year. Talk to your parents and see what their thoughts are. And then finally, make, make sure that you make all of your submissions inside of Naviance uh, by that February 4th deadline. Again, watch your email um, and then your counselor when your, your meeting time comes. OK, hopefully this information is helpful to you and we will see you at your registration meeting. Take care, guys. Thanks, guys.